Welcome to Milers Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So I finished my modifications to the Striker 2.0. Okay, let me give you a good long look at this thing. This thing is a long boy now for sure. Okay. And you guys saw a short of it the other day about the speeds I was getting. Now, to be fair, those speeds were done on bamboo 2.0 darts. So I was getting about 270 to 280 on bamboo 2.0 darts. But that makes sense because it's a lighter dart. Okay, now, what I did to this blaster was very simple. You see this? This is worker smooth inner barrel material. I cut a two and a half quarter inch piece off of this, okay, to use as a spring spacer. The spring for the Nexus Pro X won't fit. The spring rest for the Nexus Pro X either won't fit. So whoever said to get a 300 FPS mod out of it is like, or crack or something. I'm just, I just don't think it's going to happen. But to each their own. I mean, if you look, if you cheat it and use like um, dragon darts or something, you may be able to get 300. But 280 FPS off of bamboo 2.0 darts. Now, I did test other darts too. But as I said, what I did was that I cut a two and a quarter inch piece of this, which is worker smooth inner barrel material, and I used it as my spacer. Okay, this is a 16 inch worker barrel, okay, or 40 centimeters, as you will. Okay, this is custom cut. I custom cut it myself. I cut it to length. What I did was I opened up the blaster, I removed the muzzle collet here. When I had the muzzle collet out, I hollowed it out just enough to where I could pressure fit a 16 millimeter barrel through it, which this one is. So I pressure fit the barrel through it, not a problem. And I, of course, lubed it and all that. One of the problems that you guys are going to have uh, with this blaster when you get it is it has an air leak right at where the barrel meets the blaster itself, meets the dart gate. Mine was very loose, even on the stock barrel. This is the stock barrel right here. Okay? To fix that problem, I wrapped a bunch of Teflon tape around it to get a very nice airtight seal. So I hollowed out the muzzle piece, I extended the barrel. I added a spring spacer to it. I put Teflon tape around the barrel so I could get a perfect seal. I have an airtight seal in here now. Okay. Now, when I was testing this blaster, I, of course, aside from testing the bamboo darts, uh, I tested normal worker darts. I tested ZWQ darts. I tested Sabre tournament darts. I also tested some of the nitro darts that it came with and the... Uh, Nerf darts to the, the new Nerf Pro darts, which I'm not really sold on. I think they're garbage, but it is what it is. So on the our normal worker darts, on Sabre darts and ZWQ darts and the Nerf darts, I was getting an average firing velocity of about 250 FPS or so, okay? When I bumped it up just a little bit to... The uh, nitro darts, the darts that this blaster comes with, you know, I was getting speeds of about 260s, okay? Now, and as I said, when I bumped it up to the uh, the uh, Dart Zone Pro 2.0 bamboo darts, I was getting speeds of about 270 to 280. In the shorts, you saw one that was about 272 FPS, I want to say which is still pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I've got a couple darts loaded in here. This blaster does have a stiffer climb now, but it hits like a freight train. And again, I, I mean, I'm just impressed. Now, would I recommend this blaster to new people just because of tinkering? Yes. Would I recommend it to people that don't have a lot of money? Yes. The reason being is for the cost of less than $20, I've got a 250 FPS blaster on normal darts, which again is not bad, you know, for less than $20 in parts plus the cost of a $50 blaster. So for $70, you know, you've got a really nice shooting blaster. I would either recommend this blaster or the Nexus X, you know, if, if you're looking for a really nice primary. And again, with this blaster, you can also remove the spring, the uh, spacer in it, so that way if you just want to run it on stock spring. Now, Joe at Xbox Games does have a collet for this. I do have that collet coming, 
but I also know how to make my own parts, so that's why I did with this. I will be switching his collet over. I'll probably make a short about that when it shows up. But I'm rather impressed with this blaster. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it when I got it all because of that stupid draw. And I'll be honest with you. My whole beef is with it. If they would have saved the extra couple dollars that it took to make that drum and gave us an extra mag and like the bearing scar like came with the Nexus X, that would have been perfect. Instead, they gave us this. This was my other issue too. This is a plastic P car, dart zone P car. When I had this blaster on in its stock form and even in its modified form, I was getting about a 40 FPS drop with this P car. So I won't even use it. I'll just use the Gavin Fuzzy B car that I've got it on it now. I mean, the blaster is really cool. It definitely performs well, shoots beautifully. The only thing is, if you're running it with a spacer, it is a stiffer prime. It's manageable, but it's just stiff. You know, and from what I saw the insides of this thing, this thing is pretty close to a Tomcat. You know, if you look at my comparison video, you'll be able to see that too. But, I mean, I'm just blown away that this thing hits so hard. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll put a buy link in the description below for the worker smooth inner barrel material, the, the blaster itself, and uh, 60, and I guess I'll use Frontline Foam's uh, site for the barrel. You know, because you're going to have to get one custom cut to 40 centimeters because everybody makes like a 450 barrel or something like that. You'll have to custom cut your own uh, 40 centimeter barrel or just send out a request to Derek and have him do it. It only costs a couple extra dollars. And by the way, Derek will be selling sabers eventually, from what I'm told. But yeah, I'm rather impressed. I mean, this is a really nice blaster, especially the way it turned out. I mean, Wow. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Myler's Mods signing off.